What's up guys? So I'm back with another video. This is the first video with my new intro. Hope you liked it. Uh, sadly or unfortunately this video doesn't really have any shout outs since nobody's really commenting, commenting done and subscribing, liking, then commenting done. So um, yeah, that is sad. And I showed you my video in the la uh, my face in the last video. So, um, yeah, and Shreyas Fun Things asked if I'm Indian, but no, I'm actually Palestinian, which I also said in my video. And, yeah, so, and she also requested to make, uh, when I posted the Jeopardy game, she said, like, she didn't like it, and she wanted me to please upload more interesting games, like a maze game or something. So, that's what we're doing today. I'm trying to do, like, uh, a lot of your... Uh, you know requests so she said can you please make a, a maze game so I'm like okay I'm trying my best to do what you guys want so um yeah so let's get started so this game is basically like you go and it's loading and then there's play you go next and then here it says all done play I um, mean next and then yeah so you can change this you can make like a big play circle in the middle or something but I just did this oh sorry so when you press when you first press play you will be in this maze but this maze is kind of different because not only do you have to find your way but you also cannot touch you will walk with your mouse and you cannot touch the the these so you can do play as you can see there's this uh, orange circle over there it says click and the red star it's like if you go uh, if you touch it it will uh, kill you or like tell you you lose so what you're gonna do is you have this way or this way this is the star and over there is the finish so yeah so my, for my maze I already know my way so first I need to go up I'm trying my best not to touch the blue, and it's actually hard, but it, like uh, since I've tried it a lot of times, it's easier for me. So now that I clicked it, uh, I don't know if you saw, but the uh, next to the finish, there was like a wall covering it. It just opened, and now I lost. But even if you lose, so when you press play and move your mouse, you will lose. So you have to just press play, stop for a little bit until you can see the screen. So as you can see, there is no more uh, orange uh, uh, button because you've already pressed it. So yeah, now you just, after I've opened that wall, I will just go to the finish line. There we are. So as, uh, when I touch the arrow, I won. Congratulations, you won. You can either quit or play again but then the yellow circle won't, the orange circle won't be there so uh, I say press quit and I'm just gonna fix this just a sec so yeah I'm just gonna take all of these off and I'm gonna make it a little more interesting which is by doing this a huge circle in the middle I'm gonna make it um, how about this color? I guess. Or you know what? Let's just make it this color. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to write some text in it. We're just going to write play and make it a lot bigger. So you just, you guys don't have to follow this right now because, uh, I'm still just fixing mine so you guys can see what it will actually look like. There we are. Now we're just going to select this. Yes. And okay. Okay, guys. So let's just let me just show you how to make this game. So first of all, I'm going to open a blank presentation and it actually doesn't take that long. I'm going to make the layout blank. And then I'm just going to right click format background and I'm just gonna make it black 
Now you're going to go to insert word art and I'm just going to take this where there's like a shadow under it. I'm going to write welcome. So I'm just going to write welcome and put that up over, oh there it is, now it's in the middle, over here, I'm sorry, wait what? Fix that up, make this in the center. You know what? What is happening right now? Okay. So anyways, you're just gonna get this welcome, put it in the center. Now you're gonna get a rectangle, make it just like this. I'm gonna make a little different design, but you can put it anywhere you want. We're gonna go to shape fill and make it no fill. But we need an outline, so I'm just going to keep the, this blue outline. Now we're just going to get another rectangle and just do that inside of it. Yeah, just like that. And go to animations. Go to, uh, go to exit, or actually entrance animations. And go to white. I'm sure all of you have this animation. Wipe. Then you'll go to effect options. Make it from left. And change the duration. So it takes 0 0.50 or 0 0.5 seconds. But I'm going to make it take 10 seconds. So 10. Now if you just uh, see it. Or like let's go to the animation pane. If you click on it. Fine, okay. So what you're gonna do is make it uh, first of all, and you start uh, open the animation pane and right click it, make it start with previous. That means it will start as when you open it, it will just start without me pressing anything. There you go. And then it will. Uh, so now this is what we have until now. So you're going to have to get, uh, go to home or insert, get whatever shape you want, just like this. And I'm going to press next. Okay, wait. So next. And just make that bigger, you know, fix it up a bit. So now we only want this to appear when this is done. So first of all, I'm going to select it, go to animations, go to appear, and then in the animation pane, uh, go right click this. So when the circle is selected, this is selected. So right click this and then start after previous. So now what we will have is that this will load and yeah so after it loads this will come up and then yeah it will if, uh, so yeah that's what we have until now so I'm just okay yeah so now what we're going to do is just have a little loading thing over here that says loading so you're just going to insert a text box and write loading so it will be black so just uh, highlight it and then make it white and then we're just going to make it bigger and add three dots next to it now what you're going to do is select it and go to animations go over here put more entrance effects just like that and then go down to whip select whip and press ok now what you're gonna do is you go to this go to timing or if you don't have timing you can just right click go to effect options and then just go to timing from over here it's the same thing so um, after you come to timing you're gonna do start with actually no you're just not gonna play with this 
so this just keep it over there then you're gonna go to the duration and make it two seconds which is medium and the repeat make it until end of the slide or actually you know what guys we you can just make this three seconds which is slow and then make this two times all right and press ok then so look it comes like that and then, it, and then it repeats again but the reason I'm doing that is because 10 seconds only can like can have time for two of these with three seconds so anyway you're just gonna put it up after the triangle and now you're gonna right click it and do start with previous so now let's see what we have these will these two animations will start together so see here's one and here's two and then you press next and yeah that's what we have until now so this now what we'll need to do is add a new slide a blank slide and then we will make next do a hyperlink so go to insert next insert S select next go to insert go to action hyperlink to it will be next slide just press ok and here uh, the reason we can't make a big circle is because so let me just go back to the other presentation to show you so as you can see here if I press this alright I will start right here so that is why you need to have it like right here in the corner so you can start over here so that is why we cannot do that we have to just oh sorry yeah this is the video I got the idea from and then I kind of did a similar but different game so anyway what you're gonna come here and do is format this background basically so solid fill black and then we will uh, get a rectangle rectangle put it right over here and you're gonna write play in it play so you can also like wait just a sec you guys so there's something where so wait what if I did something as no that won't work anyway let's just set so you press next and you find here play so you can click on it right here but if you have like the start point in the middle then you can just put this in the middle anyway I have it right here so now I'm just gonna go to home to add some more like you know stuff to this slide because it seems really empty so that is why I am going to add a huge arrow kind of do that 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 you know actually let me just do this a little more and then yeah and I'm gonna add a text box and say uh, click here to start the maze. maze as you can see it's black so it's not showing but just make it white click here to start the maze I did two spaces here by accident alright so now you're just gonna make this a lot bigger yeah a lot bigger so click here to start the maze and I'm just gonna write and do not touch the blue walls mine are blue that's why I wrote blue but you can change yours if you want them to be different a different color 
So click here to start the maze and do not touch the blue walls. So yeah. So let's see what we have until now. Welcome. It's loading. You know what guys, let's just make this disappear when this is done loading. So after the two loading, okay, so I'm just going to take this off. So after the two loading, I'm going to need to add animation because since I've already put one from here, I need to add it. If you do that from here, then it will just switch it and take off that other one. Then I'll just make it disappear. Alright, I'm going to make this disappear, so go to the animation pane, and we need this loading to disappear, wait, so it has two, right, so this is the text box, okay, so this is the loading, the okay, so this is the disappearing one. So I'm just going to select this and then do start with previous. So now as when this comes up, this will disappear. And I need another text box. So let's do, let me just show you first. So as you can see here, this loading is there. Because like the video did it differently, but I'm just changing my own thing. So as you can see, the loading went. So now I want it when the loading goes, all done comes over here. So I need another text box, right? I'm just going to make it over here. Wait, I meant a text box over here. It says all done. Oh. Okay, I wrote that incorrectly all done okay now we're just gonna make it white make it bigger let's see how big this is 24 and this 24 so i'm just gonna put this right here and i'm let me just pause for a sec okay guys i'm sorry i just have to go my mom called me for dinner but i said like i'm almost done because this doesn't take that much time so now that we put it right over here, this text box, we're just going to keep it selected and give it an animation, which is appear. So it's going to, or like, how, how about fade? No, um, let's just make it appear. And now we will make it appear with previous. So let's just test this out for now. So, as you see, all done is not showing because it's going to appear when this one goes. See? All done and next. So, um, yeah. You press next and then you come... Oh, this is not showing. You need to, like, get it up there. And then get this part also up. How about now? Why is it not... How do I just... Wait, but why? Hmm. I don't know why this is like that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Let's see it now. Yep, perfect. So we'll need the start to be here since play is here. Wherever play is, uh, you need to you need to have the start of the maze there. So click here to start the maze and do not sh do not touch the blue walls. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to go to home, make a new blank slide and go here. So play, you will just select it, go to insert action and then you'll go hyperlink to next slide since the next slide will be the maze okay so now to make the maze so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna 
uh, what did I want to say? Oh my God. Okay, yeah. So what you're gonna do is just gonna get you're gonna get a rectangle. So since my play is like over here, uh, wait. Since my play is over here, this is gonna be the start. So I'm just gonna have this go up. And now what you're gonna do is select this before you continue your maze. You're gonna select it, insert, action. But this time we're gonna go to mouse over, hyperlink to, next slide, keep it. Okay. So now you're just gonna start duplicating it and basically making this out of it. So this is gonna be my start. So I'm just going to, yeah. So now what you're going to do is something that will take a lot of time. Like you are just going to make a maze like this. You're just going to keep putting walls and make the way you want. And yeah, so for me, I'm just going to copy this since it's going to take a lot of time. So I'm just going to copy this for me. Uh, but you, you can make your own. So um, yeah. For me, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to delete these. Yeah. So, yeah, this is mine. Basically, you can create your own. I'm just going to format the background to black. Because my whole presentation is basically black. So, um, yeah. So now let's just pretend these weren't here. Okay. So, first of all, you're just going to add in... Uh, okay, I'll just take that off. So, uh, you're just going to add an arrow to the start and the finish. So, go to home. And then, I'm just going to close my door. Okay. You're going to go to home, then add this kind of arrow going down. So, I'm just going to delete that and put the other one. So, and then put it in... Uh, whatever color you would like. So I did it as orange. Then you're going to select it and go to insert, action, mouse over, hyperlink to, slide five, which is, so like before you do this, you're just going to add two more slides. So yeah, here one and then two. So for this, we'll so the finish when whenever the mouse goes over this it's gonna go to slide 5 which is gonna be the congratulations blah 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 so I'll go to insert action uh, mouse over hyperlink to slide 5 so wait okay. the door keeps opening so anyway yeah and then press ok then you're just gonna do the same thing and add two arrows to the start but don't do any hyperlinks to them so just whenever your mouse goes over them you don't go anywhere and yeah once you're done with the whole maze you're just gonna add these as I said and you're also going to add so first of all you can have more than one of these but I'm, I just want to have one like right here so these are something that you have to click on to like open this wall because like there's no other way to the finish line except for this or this wall. So I'm just, I choose to open this wall. So you, what you're gonna do is get this circle, okay? And then you are going to type inside it, click, click. And I'm just gonna make the typing a lot smaller so it can fit there it's kind of hard to see but whatever then I'm just gonna change the color of it just gonna make it orange so yeah now now you're you're just gonna select this and pre actually you're not gonna do anything with this but you're gonna select the wall that you want to open which is this one for me and then what I am going to do is go to animations, go to what, uh, go to, so basically it's going to be none, but mine is already done. Okay. So you're going to go to the animations, go to the d exit animations and press wipe. So as you can see, it's wiping from the, uh, you can change it. So I did from bottom, 
so it's like it goes up and yeah then you're gonna go to trigger on the click of and then all of these are rectangles since we have a lot of rectangles in the maze but you're gonna look for the oval since this is the oval that uh, we need so you're just gonna select uh, you're just going to go to somewhere to the home go to uh, select and then go to selection pane so since we have two ovals we have to know what's the name of this one so just select this and see it's oval 62 it will just and the other one is probably I don't know which one it is but see if we go over here select this it's oval 6 because it's in this page but here since we have a lot of rectangles select it oval 62 so now we just take this off go back to selecting this go to the animations and then it, this already has the animation just go to trigger on the click of and then look for oval 62 because that's the name of mine so now what you have is basically this sorry you'll go loading again still loading and all done next click here to start the maze and do not touch the blue walls so see the start is from over here then you just have to go and click the orange one so yeah i'm getting really good at this actually but it's pretty hard click as you can see that opened but we need this to disappear because look yeah so we need that to disappear so that's what we're gonna do and see when i touch the blue wall this is what happened we need to change that so first of all we're gonna make this uh go over here go to exit and disappear go to the animation pane so as you can see this is where it disappears but we need to, to disappear after or like start with previous so you're gonna put the oval one under the rectangle one and just do start with previous so now we're just gonna where's my mouse okay we can't really do that we just have to go over here yep so now if we go and click that it will disappear and then the wall will open so um yeah see if i hit it it just says blank so there's nothing so this is what we're gonna do so go to the slide after i'm just gonna again i'm gonna format it to solid color black okay now what you're gonna do is go to insert word art this just say you I'm just gonna write it correctly because yeah and then I'm gonna make it in the middle and now you can actually do this and then just like uh, go text box white but it is fine because This is what I want to write as like a side note. Perfect. So now what you're going to need to do is just get a rectangle, go here, make it smaller, and make it in the same spot. So actually what we're going to do is just copy this one so it can be like in the same spot and then paste it so it's, see, it's in the same spot now you're just going to go select it and change the action so go to insert action this time you don't want it to go to the next slide you want it to go to the previous slide 
and then press OK. So when it says you lose, you can press play again and repeat it, as you just saw. And yeah, we're going to also just change that a little bit to play again. Now copy this and paste it right over here on the next slide. Yep, just like that. And write quit. This, sorry for the background noises, for these are my brothers playing games. So select quit and change the action to, uh, change the hyperlink to end show right here. And then OK. So now we are just going to do that again, except we're just going to select both of these, copy them, paste them, and then I'm just... You actually, you can just, okay, whatever. Now I'm just going to format this background again, solid black. And just copy this, copy it, paste it, copy this, paste it, and yeah, this time it's come. Sorry, I always have problems writing congratulations. So, um, yeah. Um, you can quit, but you can uh, quit. Or actually, guys I'm sorry my mom is calling me to have dinner so I'm just gonna finish quickly so now you have to quit but if you want there we go to play again you can go in to slideshow again when you or after you quit you guys you can make multiple levels just like this but I'm just gonna make one for the sake of this tutorial so I'm just gonna delete this play again button because all we need is quit I mean have to quit at this point because if you do play again it, these won't be there since you've already like clicked them so now let's just play this really quickly loading as you can see just like that loading twice then it just says, all done, next. Click here to start the maze and do not touch the blue walls. So I'm just going to... Click and now, oh, play again. As you can see, the uh, circle, the orange circle is still not there. That is, it's not there anymore. That is because... I have already clicked it and that is why you need to quit when you win so that everything can just reset and ugh, come back anyway you just have to touch that this to finish so um yeah one last thing is the start the moving star so what you're gonna do really quickly I'm just gonna say this is bring the star just spawn it anywhere you guys, I'm sorry, my mom keeps calling me. Anyway, so this is this star. I'm just going to make it orange. And see this orange circle right here? Yeah, you can just make it like that as if it's a blade. And I'm just going to put it in a random place like here. But you guys can put it wherever. So you can put it either like right here or anywhere in your maze. 
So I'm sorry for my brother, I'm really sorry. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to insert, action, you're gonna make it mouse over, hyperlink to, next slide, because if you touch it with your mouse, then it's gonna go to you lose, blah, blah, blah. Now which we need to make it to uh, like spin. So I'm just gonna make it smaller so it's actually like possible to get through it. So I'm just gonna put it like right here on the side coming a little out. So you have to like go across it. I'm just gonna take off the outline. Okay, now we need to make it spin by going to animations. Go to more emphasis effects and go to spin right here and then just go to OK now the last thing you want to do is go to this star and then start with previous which is basically like start from the beginning of the slide and just right click it one more time go to effect options or just timing timing go to two seconds which is medium is good and this is until the end of slide. Now you're just going to go OK. And yeah. So this is the game. Let me just show you the whole thing really quickly. So I'm just going to skip this animation because I don't have time right now. Play. Oh, okay. Don't move your mouse too fast because look. If you just play again and start moving. Play again and start moving. It will work. So just. Okay. You have to get past the star. Go up. Oopsies. Okay. Past the star. The star's pretty easy since I didn't really make it coming out too much. So yeah, you can make it as hard as you want. Okay. Okay, please don't touch anything. I'm trying to do it fast and that is why I keep losing. So I just opened oh, the door and now I just have to go back here. So it's basically when you press play again, it's like continuing. So, no, I, I lost like when I reached to the end, like literally the end. Ugh. I lost like literally when I reached to the end. Just, ugh. okay, come on. to the end come on bro that's not fair okay this is where i keep failing i lost like literally right here see congrats you won now you have to quit but if you want to play again you can go to slideshow after you quit so how you go to slideshow is basically just press quit go to the first slide and then press slideshow again to continue so now you're just gonna go ahead and save as this PC. I'm just gonna put it to PowerPoint Games, and you can just uh, you just you have you can keep it as PowerPoint presentation. You don't have to change it. So thank you so much for watching. I don't really want this. I have my this version basically. I just need to go back with this because you know it's like not really appealing. Okay, I can't go back anymore. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, bye. Hope you liked my intro.